Hi everyone, welcome back to Needle Workshop. My name is Emily and today I will be working on the boots for my Link cosplay from Ocarina of Time. I'm not 100% sure on how I'm gonna go about doing this, so I'm gonna make this video more of a vlog style rather than a like step-by-step -step tutorial because I'm just gonna take you guys through the process with me and hopefully maybe it'll be useful for you guys down the line. These are the boots I'm gonna be working from. There's quite a lot of uh, work to do on them. My idea currently is um, I'm gonna be reworking the shape of the boot because I feel like this isn't mm, big enough. It would need to be more like a, almost like a steel toe cap like shape, but those are really expensive and these were really cheap. So. We're gonna use these as a base and we're just gonna transform them and then we're gonna create some kind of boot cover uh, afterwards. I would like to apologize if you hear any kind of construction noise. I'm in my apartment and there's construction in the street in front. So uh, yeah, that might be a little annoying, but I apologize ahead of time. Uh, <laughs> so we get when we do vlogs. If ever you're interested, we do have the patterns available on our Etsy store for the tunic, the hat, the gloves, and the belts. Uh, the reason I'm not going to make the boot cover available on our Etsy store is because honestly it really depends on the base of your shoe. So I might make part of the uh, pattern available like as a freebie maybe on our Tumblr, but otherwise everything else you'll kind of have to see what I've doing with these boots and try to mimic it for yourself because everybody is going to use a different boot as a base which has a different shape which needs a different kind of pattern and also everybody's feet is different sizes so there's just too many variables to make a pattern that is consistent enough to sell to everyone all right let's get a little kind of before picture for photograms I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like sculpt it using paper. I don't know if I'll have enough, but I'll give it a try. Smush it and put it in there. Okay, so after quite a bit of finessing and adding like a ton of paper on there, it's tape. I think I have a shape that I'm pretty happy with like you can see before it's much more like slim it looks more like a riding boot and now uh, with a thickened tip it looks more like a steel cap toe which is kind of the look his boots have um, I know it looks like hot garbage right now <laughs> but don't worry it's just uh, to get a general idea of the shape but, but we're gonna add a lot more finesse to the final product so the idea is once you have your uh, shape, we can go and wrap it up with some of this uh, and create a pattern, which I'll then transpose into foam and create this shape out of foam instead of the paper. Have it covered now we're gonna come and draw out our pattern so we can then 
dried out in our foam. So you want to make sure that uh, this will lay flat afterwards uh, so you can then curve it uh, using darts. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work out but I'm guessing probably a seam down the middle and probably uh, one or two seams like this but we can readjust it once we cut it out that's not a big deal so just kind of thinking about like this but we'll cut it out and we'll see if it lays flat so like I guess I can I'm kind of feeling where the heel is so I can get as close as possible to getting the shape that I want. Alright, so that's our shape. Uh, we can go right ahead and write down that this is my left foot. So we know now that it goes like this. On my left foot, that's left, right? I am right-handed. This is the other side. Okay, yes. My left foot. <laughs> oh my god. So let's go cut it here. Oh, actually, before you do that, you want to make notches so like, like this and like this. That's gonna help later. Okay, now we can keep cutting. Eh. Okay, so as you can see, this doesn't lie flat, and that's what I mean by no wind. So, let's see. If we cut this dart, so this part lays flat, but this one doesn't. So you have to cut in another notch. And now you have a flat piece. That's, that's really all that's really important here is that it lays flat. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my two patterns and I'm going to trace them flat, like this, for the left foot, and then the other way for the right foot. And I'm going to indicate on it, like, left foot, right foot, so I don't get the pattern pieces mixed up, essentially. This one, like this dart becomes so ignis and significant, I think I'm just gonna remove it. Let's cut out our pieces. For the next part, we're going to put in a fresh blade to begin with. Now, the problem with this is that my edges are too thick. So we kind of have to cut them at an angle. I'm gonna have to do this like essentially all here and here, but I'm just wanna see. It's still, still not enough. It needs to be thinner. That's the tricky part because I need this part to be thick, but I need this part to be thin, which makes it really tricky. So you just, you know, keep removing some until you get something that sits nice. Ooh, took a lot out here. That's good. 
All right, so here's what it looks like uh, done. Uh, I mean, done cutting. Uh, you're probably thinking, wow, Emily, this looks like garbage. And you're right, it looks like hot garbage. But uh, it doesn't matter because it, it, we won't see it when we're done. It, it doesn't matter. Also, this is why I don't really enjoy making armor uh, generally because I'm terrible at cutting stuff with an exacto. So what I'm going to do next, I think, is I'm going to come and do my glue. So I'm going to start by closing in my darts. And then on both sides. And then I'm going to close this up by aligning all my notches. All right, I'm about to go in but uh, with the glue. But beforehand, you have to put on proper equipment. I'm putting on a mask. So you probably ah won't hear me much anymore. So my apologies about that. Bah. Ah. Oh god, I missed this mask. Put on some gloves. So I'm gonna be using contact cement. Let's see, this is lefty, righty, righty, lefty. Okay. So I'm going to start by closing off my darts. Oh, oh lord, I don't think I've ever used this one. Oh god, it smells. Oh god, I hate the smell. Okay. So, I'm going to put some right along here. And then along here, I'm going to let it dry. Oh, once it's, it gets essentially like tacky, you can put the two surfaces together and well, they will hold. standard like I know a lot of cosplayers already know this like I'm not really teaching you anything like I said mostly reiterating for those who don't know and there are much better like more competent people who do this online that you can probably learn how to work foam with I can link some people down below if you want but yeah okay so now we want to close this it should work oh lord I must so bad okay you want to try to not do what I did here which is misalign your edge because that's gonna look so bad later god I am not good at this but let's try our best one just try to be careful here all right, this one's turning out a little better. Yeah, it's much better. Okay. Okay, not bad. It, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. So like, essentially, it's gonna go like this on my shoe. But I want this to be rather seamless, so I really have to come and thin this edge out so that it kind of sits on here nicely which it doesn't right now because it's it's not quite it's not quite the right the right density on the edges all right so after quite a bit of 
of dremeling and a change of clothes you can see like essentially I've went and flattened down the sides the idea now is going to be to come and glue it here Once again, the link to the patterns for this project is available for free online. If you'd like the patterns and the blueprints for the rest of the costume, they are available on our Etsy store. If you like this kind of content, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of all upcoming videos. We also share a lot of work in progress on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So until next time, good luck with your projects.